Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you a return to a very distant LP. This is episode 19 of Let's Play Dungeon Encounters. Probably the biggest, probably um, critical and financial bomb from uh, Square Enix. Because this game did not do too well, I don't think, but I really enjoyed it and I'd like to continue it today. Um, it came out late 2021, probably haven't played since 2022. So let's get into it. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let's see if we can make some sense of this. Um, let me try to get that menu up. My pauses. No, I don't want to do that. Um, escape? No. How the heck do I bring up the menu? No, not N. Not B. All right, close that. F. O. Backspace. P. There we go. I. Uh, we need to sort this out here. Borderless windowed. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's try to get into this a little bit, guys. Why are we moving so fast? Is this normal? Speed? No, I don't think that's normal speed. Oh, I turned the speed up somehow. Ah. Uh, There we go. Okay, so we're at the Adventurer's Rest. Party's ability uses will be restored. So let's just, uh, you know we're on the new, t the new map, Floor 21. Let's see what we can get into. I want to, if I'm going to be returning to this game, I want to put a different party together. We have Lao Lagi. She's a keeper. I'm not so sold on Nalperna. She's our newest recruit. Sespar and Jalosh. Um, if we look over here, Nangapar. He seemed cool when we had him. Gieselblanc. We did not level up much of Gieselblanc. How about we go get Gieselblanc? He's on 12, 22, 70 run, along with Verwenzo. Elva's on there, level 9. And then we have some wandering, like McGalley. There was Ilbertha. Um, and still quite a few wanderers here that we're not going to find anytime soon, probably. Juffrin looks cool, little doggy. I like that. And he's got a Froggerock. Interesting. But let's go... Maybe pick up. I liked Rodovich too. Shunga, we never really gave much of a chance. She's level two. I don't want to go that far down in the levels, but I do want to recruit Gieselblanc. Let's go to 12. Um, come back up here in 32. Let's see what a 32 is. Is it B? Yeah. 32 is Stalker and Devil Cat. Um, sure, we'll get into some combat. Alright. Uh, Malio and the Stalker. Devil Cat, a little trickier. Um... Looks 
looks like we'll escape here pretty well. Jalosh is unarmed. Longbow, do it. Nice. 58 XP, 180 gold. Jalosh goes level 13, gains 38 HP and 3 power points. What I wanted to do though is head back to where the teleporters are. They're not on this level, so let's do this. Come back here and let's... 20 tiles to nearest wanderer. Interesting. Let's go with lesser ascension. There should be like a teleporter. It's a purification spring. A five and a six. Resurrection healing fountain. Hmm. PA. Notes on Fiends, the witch. There should be a two-way teleporter somewhere around here. What are those? Ascending? Floor 18? No, descend. There should be a two-way teleporter somewhere around here. Nifty little shift. Or is it on the next floor? Let's do a 30. How bad can it be? Just an anaconda. Bad move. There we go. 24 XP, 87 gold, and a flail. And a 2F. Sure. It is a witch and an anaconda. Um. Oh. Should be okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of in the mood to play this. I don't know. ATB is on weight, actually. I didn't realize that. There's active ATB, which would probably wreck us. I have it on weight. 49 XP, 168 gold, a flail, mystery compound D. Somewhere around here, there ought to be... A teleport, and I seem to remember being up here, no? Is that it? Two-way teleporter. Boom, okay. Perfect. Go to floor nine. Descend. Um, send, send, perfect. Now from here, um, twelve twenty two seventy one. Oh, way up there. Okay, let's fight a one F. Why not? Oh, dang. That was just amoebas and stuff. Uh, 
Oh, and it directly attacks HP. I did not realize that. I should be more careful which ones I kill first. Yeah, that directly attacks HP. Oh, hey, unarmed works here. Uh, no, it didn't. Did not take away the one physical defense of the amiibo for some reason. Did no damage. Oh, man. There it did one. Oh, boy. Um... Yeah. Nice critical. 30 XP under 20 gold and a Patasos. And here we come up here. Mummy's garments, the M shield and cloak. Right here, I think, is where we left them. Yep. Let's see, what do we want to get back? Uh, there is a place, legend states, where one's most fervent desires and fantastic dreams may be realized. A place where impossibility dies and imagination is the sole limitation, a place of power divine. He has dedicated his life to learning the truth of this tale, a quest which has led him to the labyrinth. Its denizens deter him not. Indeed, their presence suggests secrets worthy of discovery. Should the place exist, and should he find it within, what wishes will he seek granted? Hmm. Then there's Gieselblanc. When the wind howls at night, the rector often dreams of the daughter taken from him in the war. She was but a child, and had he taught her to run and hide, it might have been different. The tragedy of her loss drove him to found the academy so that men and women from all walks of life may find the strength to defend those whom they hold dear. He has seen many off to battle, but senses the day draws near that he himself must take up arms. In truth, a part of him yearns for it. Rowenzo. He had followed Nitaliana over earth and water for blood, a long journey fraught with peril and death. But his wounds healed, his thews thickened, and his resolve deepened. The life I have been given belongs not to me. I offer it to honor the memory of home. He held the stone of midnight to his breast and whispered a prayer to his ancestors. Then we have the awesome Elva. Years and years ago, the Royal Institute conducted a survey in a distant land far beyond the frontier. There, in a ruin believed to be tens of thousands of years old, the scholars made an unprecedented discovery. They found a survivor, seemingly lifeless but unmarred by time. When the church learned of the find and subsequent attempts to reanimate it, the scholars claimed ignorance. Nevertheless, the institute was closed. Rumor has it, however, that the beast man escaped. So let's see. La Lagi. I mean, she's cute. The armlet had belonged to her brother, proof that the seventh expedition was lost, the runner claimed. But she shook her head and said that they were wrong, not in desperate denial, but quiet certainty. He lives and he needs my help. Bearing her brother's armlet, she left her home and headed towards the academy. So we'll keep her. Manazar, she was tough, this chick. She was real tough. Uh, Rodovich was pretty good. They all kind of have different stats and stuff that evolve their speed, their power points. Um, what's an Alperna's story? On his deathbed, her grandfather's eyes welled with tears as he revealed the truth of her birth. The infant had been buried on the mountain and only the keen nose of his hound had saved her that day. A sacrifice or a mistake, perhaps. A condemnation without question. Nevertheless, she was a survivor and the labyrinth another trial. I want to find Jufrin. Uh, what about Cespar? Or Cesparé? She was babbling and bewildered when Gieselblanc discovered her outside the academy walls. After an examination, the healers proclaimed her to be in good health, but added that her memories were unlikely to return. 
She could recall nothing of her past, and so the rector touched her shoulder and named her Sespar. Staring at her hands, she nodded, and after a time she turned to him, her eyes brimming with tears. The labyrinth, what was taken from me, I think I may find it there. I want to use everybody. See, that was the problem I had the first time I played this, the first batch of recordings where I got to episode 18. We're going to make a second batch here, though. Or maybe it's a third batch by now, I'm not sure, but... Um, let's see. Uh, Julosh. What was Julosh's story? Though born into a family with a proud military tradition, he was resolved to defy their expectations. He withdrew from the world, believing it better to bury himself in books than be bound by duty and honor. Let others fight the world's wars. Then the fiends came, claiming his parents and his beloved sister. Innocent lives snuffed out in an instant like so many others. Yet painful as these losses were, nothing could prepare him for the sight of his closest confidant, his Shrike, and what remained of her. Huh. I think now Perna can go. And for now Perna, we will take... Um, K2000, a robot. Wow. Okay, we'll take... Uh, it's going to be too hard to get Giesel Blank up there. Let's just remove her stuff. I mean, he's only level 8. All this multi-classing or multi-character using it's coming at a cost. Um, Manazar was wicked good. Um, I want to use Giza Blanc, though. I'm going to use them. I just don't know how we're going to level them up. <sighs> then we have to get rid of Julosh and add Nangapar to kind of make our party worthwhile here. Giza Blanks is Barnagapar. Alright, let's try it. Fixed physical for 660. He's got four more power points. Increases magical evasion when equipped. Physical defense. Is there anything. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Is there anything better? Yeah, there's the juice decor. Increases physical defense, but it has a four speed. Oh, but that's an eight ten compared to a four sixty. That's okay. We'll go for the speed. I like the speed. The Patasos. Joyous. Um. Fixed amount of damage to all enemies with the Partisan. He could use a Flail. Poison the enemy 100%. Stone Binds. I know I'm going to give the Ancient Mirror to, but let's give him... You know what? Let's give him a Flail. It's 1,400 points of damage. And Malio 3, can he use Malio 4? Not quite yet. So let's just remove Malio altogether, I think. Give him a tricorn. And. Best 
best we've got. Oh, Loggy's going to continue to use the longbow. And speed boots. Gieselblanc is going to use the ancient mirror. Oh, but he's got to get rid of some stuff. Malaflux, too. Can't use anything else. All right, we'll give him the magic. We'll give him that. Let's get rid of that and give him Malio four. And Got you in. So we'll try this for a while. She could do better. At least give her a tricorn. And increase damage dealt to enemies. Uh, not really needed. Counter, increase counter rate 15%. Um, critical hit 10. Give her the bracer. And that'll be it for us. Now look at her. She can use so much more. Let's see if any of these shops have anything actually. There's the long cave. We don't have a long cave. Magical Evasion 26. Um, sculpture's Jewelry. We have a Fluorite. Yeah. Mummy's Garments. Juice to pour is the best we're getting there. Skeleton's defense. Gallia. And a carabini mail. Malio 4, Malaflux R2. Could get another Claymore. Partisan. We have a partisan. Longbow. It's good to have ranged. Let's buy a longbow. And let's go up here and purchase another claymore just to have. Heal. Um, the Horror Hands Boots. Ooh, what is this? Caligae. Increases speed. Critical hit rate counter, but we don't have a Caligae. Buy one. A pair of boots. Now let's uh, do some equipment adjustment. Instead of a flail, maybe get him a claymore. Thousand points guaranteed, baby. Instead of the escutcheon. That's about it. Hit 
helmet. His speed is terrible. He's low level. Alright, he's just gonna have to do... You know what? He doesn't need Valio. Let's give him the Caligae. He has to be the 83, and let's give him... Oh, we could really use a Malaflux too. Malaflux 3. Malaflux 3. Alright, let's try this. Now, there's no saving or anything, I don't think, right? Um, now we're going to use a lesser dissension. Is there a... We will get into some combat, guys. Maybe not enough this episode, but definitely next episode. Let's try 1D. He should be pretty simple. Spider web. Alright, uh. Nice Claymore. be more important in battles that you know go the go a longer distance than this one's going to go twenty five XP hundred gold scale armor hounds helm and easel blancos level nine gains four HP three power points Uh, let's descend. Now we're down to floor 13. Oh, no, 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 not descend. Ascend, ascend. Let's get to a 20. Okay. Let's see who's going to be the most pain to take out. You missed. Um. <laughs> Four HP damage. I mean, we're pretty well above these guys. There we go. Forty-five XP, hundred ninety-three gold, a carabini mail. We'll send a bit more. Yeah, but now we've got to find. Oh, is that it right here? Healing fountain. Where's the nearest adventurer's rest? Is it ability log? No. That log. Twenty-one sixty-eight twenty. It's 
So floor 10, this should have two-way teleporter, right? A couple of ghosties. I kind of like this party. We'll get there. 13 XP, 56 gold. I just have to figure out how to... There's ascending stairs, but is that what I want? Those are descending stairs, dang. Alright, we've got to find the, uh... A devil Shrub. We use Nanga Parts so we get that doggy. 13 XP, 60 gold, a round shield. Oh, that thing flying across the screen I thought was in real life for a second. <laughs> Where's the two way teleporter, bruh? Trying to find the teleporter quicker. It's not on this level. There it is. My bad. Now from here we can kind of restock a little bit before we go. Get the adventurer's rest. And I also want to... station. Let's see what we're using here. We have eight more points to use. I'd like to get Gambler's Shift back on there. Randomly open tile on the current floor. Oh, we can. Cost is only six. I didn't see that. Cool. We've got everything else. And there's not going to be anything here, right? Chimera's arms, though. Alright, let's get to it, then. Let's go down below. Floor 19. Floor 20. Now let's descend from here. Dusty sand dunes. Yeah, I'm gonna love playing this again. It's a fun game. I wish there was a little more character customization, but what is there is pretty tasty. Hey, okay, what did I want on 21? Yeah, nothing really. Oh, but there's tiles here that we did not clear. Uh, 35? Are we in trouble? Oh, we're in trouble. Yeah, um, please take him out, nice, Nanga, uh, Claymore on a Devil Cat, Sespar, Claymore on a Devil Cat, perfect, Voltage. Um, doesn't matter. Claymore is not going to cut it. There we go. 
Devil Cat. Going after Giesel Blunk. Oh, it's about to be Stonebound. Perfect. Stonebound. So no longer battles, that'll work. 122 XP, 377 gold, Giesel Blanc goes level 10. Wow, gains 27 HP, or 17 HP, 2 power points. Got some tiles here. Oh, I, off camera too, I was figuring out that math puzzle we came across. I think I got the hang of that, how to do, um, whatever they call them, well, math puzzles. Um, oh, darn. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh. Good, Reap Nanga. I don't know why I did that. I messed that up because this man just make it another turn. No, no, he reaped Kiesel Blanc. Dang it! I messed that up. User error. 140 XP, 314 gold, mystery compound A, and now we have to resurrect the geezer by doing a lesser ascension. from here, how did we do it? Send again. Let's go to a resurrection shrine. I don't think it's an O3. No two. All right, I have an idea. Make this a little bit easier on us. Long run. Let's see. Manazar is here. Shunga's here. She's only level 2. Her speed is 72, though. Gracie is here. I guess we're stuck with Giesel Blanc. I want to use Giesel Blanc, actually. Resurrect is 5. Let's heal up. Man. Try this again. It's gonna be touch and go here. The party as it is, but we can get into some combat and have some fun. Oh dear. Lots of constriction going to happen. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, that's not too useful. Sometimes. Little touch and go. Seventy two XP, two sixty one gold. Level up for Lao Logi. Gets seventy eight HP, one power point. Cess Bar gets sixty eight HP, four power points. See what we could do with their uh, setups for right now. La Loggy, it's really nothing else she can use that's better. We just don't have the gear. Um, she can trade that longbow in for like. a flail. Malaflux 4 for Malio 2. Malio 4, no. Alright, she's fine, but he's got some room to maneuver here. We got a leather hat for now. Gives him three more speed. Can't use any of this stuff. All right, let's just give him the uh, the tassos then. Racer, juice of course. She's just got all the best stuff. Nothing really to change that we can upgrade. We need to find upgrades. Honestly. Um. Start descending again. Getting into some combat. Mellow Flux 4. Well, the long will work in that case. ATP reduced to zero, no big deal. I also have abilities that I don't really use. Eighty-eight XP, two seventy-three gold. Kiesel Blank gains twenty-three HP, two power points. Doing well so far for himself. Just kind of grinding right now on the grind. Wow, unarmed bypasses uh, defense. I forgot about that. Good job, Gieselblank. Fortunately, I think we're probably at the maximum time for an episode already. 67 XP, 2 or 3 gold. Yeah, we're just going to be grinding a little bit. Maybe filling out some new tiles once we get down there. Uh, 89, that was the math puzzle, I think. Let's go check that. I honestly was making progress on that. I thought, wait a minute. I might be smart. I don't know. 
Not, don't quote me, guys, but... Oh, no, that's a battle ability. Physical rejuvenation. Remember, we could use those in combat. Nice, easy battles thus far. Took a chance, and it paid off. Perfect. 15 XP, 180 gold, and Gieselblanc goes to level 12, gains 39 HP, 2 power points, Nangapar goes to 22, gains like 87 HP and a power point. Pretty nasty. Um, we could look for Wanderer tracking. It's not going to be on this floor. But we can actually kind of descend where where it may be. Oh, look at all these tiles that we did not clear. It's probably down another floor of the Wanderer. Let's get rumbled in a 36. What do we got here? Um, ancient Mirror. Probably Ancient Mirror you miss though. Make sure this man this doesn't get a turn. Oh, Longbow. Dang. battle actually works out better for us, though. In the long run. Um. Getting a little dicey. Wow, Giesel Blanc went down. Oh, wait, we can execute an ability, though. Resurrection. Here we go. Just so he gets his HP, or his XP. Not sure why I did that. This is not going to do 780, probably. Well, it does. Giesel Blanc gets his XP, 102 XP, 308 gold, a tricorn. Wow, tiles galore. We've got to see. Let's see, an FC. First of all, I want to see how long we've been playing. 48 minutes, got to wrap it up here, guys, so. Whoa, don't scare me like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. If you did enjoy, please consider smashing that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. But do not feel pressured to do those things. Only do them if you really want to. To help the channel or whatnot, it's all good. Do what you want. But thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this return to Dungeon Encounters. Stay tuned for more if you'd like, because more is going to come. I am going to keep playing this for the time being, and I uh, hope to see you in those. So until then, guys, be well, live well, stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. Let's see if I can remember what we do here. Progress will be saved. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.